hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be giving an option to the player to change their username for that you will have to make a duplicate of the create room menu okay move it after the loading menu i mean on the second option and let's name this as username menu okay and in the menu script right here we're gonna type username menu as well then click on the uh, actually let's first of all enable it and then click on canvas and in our menus drag and drop it and when you do that move it to the uh, second position okay now in here we have all of these things so the first one is the room name so we're gonna change this to username the placeholder should be enter username or enter username like that okay enter username then the button we have this button so let's change this to next all right so this should be our username menu once you create this let's now click on scripts then in the multiplayer scripts let's create a new c-sharp script by the name of player username manager click on the canvas and drag and drop this script right here okay let's open this up and on this script at the top we're gonna add using unity engine.ui and also using photon.pun then we need a reference to our username input field so we're gonna say serialize field and then we're gonna say input field username input okay then we will create another serialize field so this will be of type text by the name of error message text okay then after this let's create a method so public void let's name this uh, as player username input value changed and in here we're going to create a string by the name of username and this is going to be equals to our username input dot text so whatever is provided in here will be passed to this username okay and then we're gonna check a few things the first thing is that we want the username to be of 20 characters and also we want the username to be not empty okay so we're gonna say that if uh, not string dot is null or empty We're gonna pass the username to it and also we're gonna say that if the username dot length is less than equals to 20 then we're gonna allow the user to move to the next menu okay when the username is provided correctly so first of all we're gonna take that new username and make it equal to the photon network dot nickname okay after this 
we want to store this username in player prefs so that whenever the player close the game and then start the game again so that the player don't have to uh, type the name again and again okay so for that purpose we're gonna use player prefs dot set string create a string in it by the name username and pass the username to it okay then the error uh, message text will be equals to nothing because uh, there is no error to show and after this we want the player to move to the next menu which is the title menu so we're gonna say menu manager dot instance dot open menu we want to open the uh, what it called title menu all right after this if we have the username requirement wrong then we're gonna set the error text message dot text to this okay username must not be empty and should be 20 character or less okay after this in the start method we're gonna say that if the player prefs dot has key and that key is the username Okay, then we're gonna uh, call that. Uh, I mean, we're gonna equal. I mean, we're gonna equal this uh, username input and the photon network dot nickname to this username player pref value. Okay, because as I just told you, we will not uh, make the player type the username again and again whenever the player uh, play the game again. Okay, so we can copy that paste it right here and at the start we're gonna say player pref dot get string and we want to get the username string okay so let's pass it to our username input as well so username input dot text equals to this that is it okay and now if you get back to the launcher script right here from the launcher script remove this now because we don't want to uh, give the user uh, username okay because the user uh, can now type his own username and when the player join a lobby then what we're gonna do we're gonna move the player now not to the title menu but to the username menu okay everything is looking good let's check the other scripts okay right here make the eye small and let's check this one this one was working already get back to unity click on canvas uh, enable the actually click on canvas for now and where it is right here we need to provide the username the and the error text as well so for the username we're gonna drag and drop that and for the error text in the sub menu create a ui legacy text move it at the bottom and then right here let's size it like this make the size 25 make it italic if you want and let's type anything we want in here okay so it is looking good so this will be our error text but you can leave this as empty for now and 
make the color of it as white okay that is it now click on canvas and actually let's name this as error text now let's click on canvas and drag and drop this error text in there and also select the create room button and whenever we press the next button we want to go inside the player username manager and player username input value changed okay and call that now disable that enable the loading menu so now you will notice after the loading menu it will show us the username menu and let's now name this player as player1 main pc click next create a room as you can see it is now showing the username right here player1 main pc let's join it from here player2 build pc click next find room join that room here it is okay let's uh, start the game oops we are on top of that player okay so now as you can see player 2 build pc and from here player 1 main pc so now we are able to change uh, the usernames and in the next video we're gonna assign teams to our player and also we're gonna spawn them in their own specific team area okay so see you guys in the next one